Land gives me um, a voice to speak about my stories, to speak about my culture, to be proud of who I am as a, um, a be human being, especially an Aboriginal human being. Um, it also continues our stories within the community. For such a long time, there was no processes or forum for local Aboriginal members of our community to have a voice in how decisions were being made and influence council and really help us to understand what we can do better to better respond to the needs in the community and so that what we do is more meaningful and inclusive. The land encourages that there are no barriers. Um, we have um, an opportunity to um, discuss relevant inf information and get inf information back to the organisation that communities don't otherwise have. It's about people first, so you know, we do everything for our people. Our people's voices is what drives our work. People from the grassroots level of the community can finally have a say about what it is that they want for their community. It's critically important that local councils and lands have a capacity to do, to, to share and deepen their understanding of each other's you know, goals and aspirations. And local government has a particular responsibility, I think, to engage, to understand, and to share the planning of services, programs and outcomes with all its communities and in particular its local Aboriginal community. The key to the land success is self-determination and it's about putting Aboriginal business in Aboriginal hands. I think the successful partnership between the local Aboriginal network and Mildura Rural City Council comes down to a willingness for people to seek to understand each other and to learn together and I think this builds trust and creates an environment where people can work together to implement change. Authorised by the Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.